I'm so excited about day two and three because they get to pick whatever kind of cake they want to make, provided it stands on two legs. So we're going to see some really neat things, and I think it'll be beneficial for them also because they won't just learn from me and Frankie, they'll learn from everyone else. I've taught classes similar to these hundreds of times, and every time it's always a little bit different. Everybody's got a different interpretation and a different ability. I'm really looking forward to seeing the different styles of decorating that they have here and to see how it differs from what I'm used to and what I've seen before. Right now, nothing has a personality. As soon as people start injecting themselves into these things, that's my favorite part. We're not looking for a cookie cutter, but we're looking for the student's ability to express themselves through the media of cakes and roll fondant. At first, it gets a little iffy because all you see is the skeleton and the shaved cakes, and you're curious as to how is this really going to be. But every time, no matter what class, I'm just blown away with the quality of cakes, how quick they grasp it, and how fast they actually complete the cake. I think I saw the makings of a ballerina, or maybe a smurf. If some are making puppies, I saw a dinosaur. It's gonna get crazy. For the instructor piece, we decided that we would do Daniel the honor of doing Daniel. Daniel has such a good sense of humor that I knew that we could pull off a caricature of him out of cake. Daniel has smiling and frowning for facial expressions, but his pants tell a different story altogether. He's always wearing the weirdest, craziest pants. I have no idea where he gets them. It's insane. His pants are insane. So we layered a bunch of fondant together and then rolled it out and then it got the tiger stripe effect and so we put some horizontal and some vertical and I think we captured the craziness of his pants. I don't think anybody's done that before for him so I think he was pretty tickled. <laughs> Doesn't look like me. Oh, the class loved it. They thought it was the best thing ever. I couldn't have expected a better reaction. I'll give you five more minutes. freestyle session there were some really fantastic cakes. There were a lot of ballerinas, there was a really cool Papa Smurf, and there was an awesome dwarf. Well we had one student, Dorothy, who lives in Hong Kong, who actually flew to one of our classes in Florida. She'd already experienced this whole thing, she wanted to do something different, and so she started this whole trend within the class to do a dog. They all did a great job, and I think that they were even more happy that they got to do something so radically different from everyone else. It's winding down, and nobody wants to leave, and everybody's excited. That's always the best part of class, because everybody's just so happy with what they've created. I think that everybody was able to take home a new skill set, and maybe even a new confidence, and seeing what they can come up with in a couple of years is going to be the really exciting part. Our teaching here is possibly a way to give back to the community that was so wonderful to us in the last two weeks. I think my fondest memory is gonna be of Roly, our extra wonderful host in Bali. It was great that he was willing to take the time out of his week to show us crazy Americans around. We've had such a marvelous time in Indonesia and uh, look forward to coming back one day and I'm ready to go home and make cake.